Hi guys, welcome to a strangely appropriate episode of Winter Wrap-Ups. This year for the month that should not be, we decided to go with the theme of mummies. Get it? Wrap-Ups? Mummies? <laughs> Shut up, it's hilarious. Anyway, I'm the fabulous Mr. Fox, and this is the five best and the five worst things about mummies that I can think of. You really can't talk about mummies without bringing up the Lon Chaney classic. That's because, unlike most things that people call classics, it's actually pretty good. I like how Lon Chaney makes himself look like a mummy and scares people. That's pretty important detail when making a scary movie about mummies. Three and a half stars. On the other end of the spectrum, the mummy is a shit sandwich served with a glass of shitty orange juice right after you brushed your teeth. You ask them not to bring it to you because you just brushed your teeth, and you know you'd rather have the shit sandwich by itself than have to suffer that thing that happens when you drink orange juice right after you brush your teeth. What is it with Brendan Fraser? Seriously, the only good movie the guy was ever in was Gods and Monsters. Poor bastard. Tales from the Dark Side was a horror vignette show from back before we had Tales from the Crypt. It was pretty decent for being under budgeted and not particularly well acted at any point. The movie had Steve Buscemi in it, and he was a weirdo. I kinda like that. I couldn't come up with much here. I'm sure that there's somewhere out there there's a vignette movie with a worse mummy segment, and that would have been more thematic, but screw you. It's my list, and I didn't put a lot of work into it. There, I said it. Speaking of things that people didn't put a lot of work into, this is a mummy movie about a cat. That is all. It's a vengeance spirit or something cruising around and killing dudes or something. That cat, that is. Not the mummy. It's pretty lame. <laughs> So there's this episode of ATHF where they find a mummy in their crawl space and it demands hugs and money under penalty of curse. Later it turns out that the mummy's curse is that he's a mooch and lying about the curse altogether. It's funny, you should watch it. Also, Snake Carl, I choked on my soda a little. What the hell happened to you? What? <laughs> oh god! This isn't about a specific episode or anything, just the whole show. It's a show about kids and mummies, and it came out in the early 90s. That should tell you all you need to know. The only value this show has is making me appreciate how much better cartoons are now. With the strength of rock! Hey, how about that? Mummy the Curse, which we said before was by White Wolf over and over, but is actually put together by Onyx Pass, so we're kind of shitheads, is the best mummy-based game that I've ever laid eyes on. Oh, you didn't know there were others? Okay, let's do an easy one. Way back in the merry old days of gaming, before there was a Dungeons & Dragons 3rd edition, and people still thought that all role players were sexless chodes who do nothing but roll dice and suck inhalers, the White Wolf Game Studios pushed out a perfect shitstorm of broken-ass bullcrap called Mummy. It wasn't actually a game line. It was a splat book worthy of little more than being used to kill spiders. A few years later, they did it again as a second edition. Both versions were terrible, and everyone involved should be ashamed of it. It happens. Everyone makes mistakes. Hell, once I voted for a Republican, and it turned out that he was a stuffy atavism of a bygone age, incapable of changing to meet the needs of the modern world. So that's kind of like a mummy. If there's a mummy movie worse than The Mummy, it would pretty much have to be The Scorpion King. Other than that, it's Mummy Maniac. This movie is about a guy who kills chicks with various implements and then whines about seeing his work on the news. He's called the Mummy Maniac because he kind of lazily wrapped gauze around one lady's head. Watching the movie is like being inside of an elephant's rectum while it enjoys a prostate orgasm. I'm pretty sure that this isn't as much a real movie as it is a series of audition reels that this jackass edited together so he could crap out a straight-to-DVD corn turd and trick me into renting it because my wife loves mummies. What's that for? Cutting meat. This isn't exactly what you're showing. Right, so. so this is a movie about Bruce Campbell playing Elvis in a retirement home. One day, a mummy in a cowboy hat and spurs shows up and starts eating the souls of the elderly. It's amazing. Honestly, I don't know why you're still here if you haven't seen this. Go! That's why I put this at the end of the review. Elvis has penis cancer and he fights a scarab with Elvis-style karate foo. I don't know why you're still watching me. I'm not even doing an outro. I'm just gonna say, I'm Fox Winter. Thanks for watching Winter Wrap-Ups. Now go! Go! Bubba Hotep awaits you! Also, check out our new review down here or here somewhere. Even a big bitch cockroach like you should know. Never, never fuck with the king.